everybody, and welcome to Stand for the Fire Demon. It's nice to see everybody. They can't hear you yet. Ha ha ha! You guys are dumb. You guys are so dumb. There's there's nobody in chat to hear you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Herbs and Spices is here. Bucky's sitting in chat. Casino Thanks and AKA Jaeger. Uh, you have to go to twitch.tv forward slash dueling ogres. Beca because I can. Because I can. And not now now I'm just talking to you guys and chat thinks I'm talking to myself. All the voices in my head. Ah. Yes, it is. It is very true. I talk to myself quite frequently. Brandon, we're unmuted now. Are you ready to awesome. uh are you ready to uh do your thing? Well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna catch up on what happened last episode for Ethan and mm -hmm. I didn't write an intro so let's commune let's collectively remember what happened last session we went to a commune <laughs> uh we were walking up the road anything. there was a roadblock mm -hmm. it turned Wait, out to be a unicorn on, okay you out, guys were leave you guys were leaving the maniacal wildebeest okay after hiding a body by throwing it out a window and okay. Then you yeah. met the uh, goblins just, who named you their leader. That's right. Okay. I remember you that. Beat, okay. uh, you beat the bugbear. I beat yeah. The, yeah. Beat the bug necromancer. Bear and then we found I out there trouble. was some sort of, like, uh, sarcophagus? Sarcophagi? Sarcophagus Is that right? Sarcophagus yeah. People. And you wanted to leave them. Yeah, and seal it up. You didn't want to right? engage. So you guys sealed the entrance to this and then left. After staying for the night and eating with the goblins, you guys left. Yeah, because the Modron is shutting down slowly and we got to save them. Yes. So then you were traveling on a road, like Tyrrell said, and you ran across a roadblock that turned out to be a big fucking unicorn, like moose-sized unicorn in the middle of the road. Damn. And it led you to, it led Tegan, who you guys followed Tegan, to a giant snail shell house in the middle of a field where the unicorn opened the door and you met the half-elven sorceress, Neri. Okay. Who is broken as hell. Who talked to, uh -huh. um, talked to the unicorn. The unicorn vomited out some rainbow vomit. And then from that vomit, uh, lilac like the flower, if you remember her, the uh, yeah. fae that you guys have interacted with. Okay, yeah. Ended from up that wood where we got all the weapons. Yeah, ended up growing out of the vomit and accused you guys of stealing from her, of stealing from the fae. Uh, she some... talked. She talked to Neri, and gave her the letter that she originally offered you guys from the queen to take to King Interog. And she gave it to Neri, and Neri agreed immediately and said, okay, yeah, I'll do it. So they shook hands, and then they heard a loud, booming voice say the pact is sealed. So Neri has made a pact with the Fae. A very innocent pact so far, but a pact with the Fae. The pact uh, is sealed. Nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I dig it. So you guys sense. had gathered back up your stuff after talking to Lilac. She also gave Tegan a carved lizard statue about this big that she said was her pet, and she gave it to Tegan to have. Awesome. And no one has bothered to look it in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You guys continued on down the road where you found a big encampment of centaurs at the base of the mountain that you made it to, and the centaurs said that... Uh, there was like a big leak in their city and their city is overrun with acid and oozes and it's been overrun for about a week at this point, a week and a half. Dirty, stinking centaurs. We're not helping. What was the race of the thing he played in our one shot? Or our one-on-one session that one night, Brandon? A, uh, kink. A kinku? 
Yeah, Kinku. Okay. Saying well, Kinku with a mouthful of smoke is really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, you might have to be prepared to play a Kinku again. <laughs> oh, I would love to play that character again, or just a Kinku. I love the, the whole we, talking with words they've heard shit. <sighs> we are helping okay, the so, centaurs, by the way. No, no, we're not. We don't have time for this, Tegan. They're on the way, and... And they need assistance. <laughs> they're part of the kingdom. Dude, just because there's something on the way doesn't mean we have to stop at it like roadside attractions and tourists. This is stupid, man. Stand uh, so you're just going to let an entire clan die. That's cool. I mean, survival of the fittest. I mean, um, yeah, yeah no, that makes thing. perfect sense. Yeah, no, it's fine. Are we just so special that we're the only ones that can fix this? Is there not like... Well, we are... Not to break the fourth <laughs> wall, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what wall you're talking about. We're out in the wilderness. This is stupid. Brandon. <laughs> I'm talking about that mountain wall. Over there. Okay. I'm looking okay. around. Do I wall. see a route toward where... A route toward Aflight? Uh, so... From where we are. So, Buckenwald actually knows uh, the centaur in this village and wants to a, help My friend... Specifically. My old childhood friend, Hillel, who apparently hasn't been seen in a week. I'm so, gonna look over at three mil and go. I'm sorry, buddy. Hopefully, you don't. We die. still have we still have half a month before three mil dies. Yeah. <laughs> or we have a burn man who we could have fly gonna, him to the I'm gonna, city. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand on three mil. Gone too soon. <laughs> Sometimes I can still hear his voice. That's because I'm You're right little, fucking here. <laughs> still Your little alive. Little legs were ready, but still our alive. Were not. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh, my Can we finally say, save free mill? I just want his first words to be, hey, I live, bitch. <laughs> All right, so where you guys are at is you. there's been the mountain in the background the entire time you guys have been kind of adventuring. There's a huge mountain range to the north. Well, you have now made it to the base of the mountain where there's like a big open area that you go in where the mountain is hollow. And underneath in that open area is the city of Aftlight. Or the I keep calling it a fucking city, but it's not a city, it's a village. It's not very big. There's a lot of open fields and stuff, but as far as houses, there's like eight houses there, so it's a village. This is why we're stopping for eight fucking houses. <laughs> there's also if you decide to go past Aftlight, there's a big bridge that goes up <laughs> over and around that leads to the elevators that'll take you up to Delgorum. <laughs> Uh, Which is our shortcut to save a whole bunch of time. Uh, I haven't said anything out loud at this point. After I found out Hillel has, hasn't been seen in over a week. Um, I, I'm I'm just, watching them yell it back and forth at each other like a tennis match. You seem, you seem pretty down that Hillel's gone. Is that it? Like, is, I'm asking out of character. Yeah. I oh, mean, okay. Hillel was Buckingwald's Friend. Oh, gotcha, in character. Um, you know, 90% of people who are gone for more than 24 hours end up being dead, right? I don't hear this. It looks like no, it I'm gonna, wasn't I'm going to say it said. loud. <laughs> he is specifically um, directing it to uh, you. <laughs> technically, technically, it's children have a less... It's 24 hours for children, it's 48 hours for adults. I was just making it up, but yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> the first 48. And it's been a week and a half, Thanks, damn it. Adele. Thanks, Adele. You really know what I'm what I'm spitting here. Um, I'm looking off into the distance. Do I see a the route into the city? It's a village. It's not a city, Buck and Bob. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's like God, two sheds in a it. barn, Bucky. That's why God. we're stopping. It's two sheds in a barn. We're taking Fuck. our time out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it'll take you guys ten minutes of walking through a field to get to Afterlight from where you are. Yeah. I, I just start walking in that Literally direction. a percentage of a percent of time to get there and figure <laughs> out what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hearing them yelling in the background. I'm just, I just start walking toward the city. I'm gonna yell out to them. Hey, at least you have the good times. 
All right. I'm gonna. <laughs> I I'm gonna. A knife in <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna go. I'm gonna walk up toward Bucky. I turn back and say, Zoisin, you don't have to come if you don't want to." I mean, I'm gonna fucking come. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! You're gonna make me. <laughs> <laughs> Riley Reed meme dot JPEG. <laughs> This coming off of the time that I literally just handcuffed Bucky for being an asshole. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I'm not disobeying the record. No, you. No, you you're were, not. <laughs> you handcuffed me because I had a post traumatic stress disorder attack. Mm hmm. And then failed to follow orders. Are you drinking from a CNN cup? Uh, yes. It says CNN. In fact, it says CNN.com Black in America. So whenever they were doing their Black in America thing. Oh, what? Yeah. It was it was it was a gift from Sudden Link back when Ginger worked there. They got all kinds oh. of shit all like that. They got merch. We get merch yep. from machining companies at work. Speaking of merch, you can buy Dueling Ogres merch at DuelingOgres.com forward slash bizarre. Bizarre like the open air mark and not bizarre like, oh, how bizarre. Yeah. How bizarre? How bizarre? Balthazar. Okay. Balthazar. So... Which is my, which is one of my cat's name. All right. Go ahead, Brandon. Sorry. <laughs> you guys all choose to head through the field, I assume. Yeah. Neri, are you sticking with the group? Yeah, I totally do. Okay. I think so... we're breaking her. <laughs> <laughs> You go through this all the stupidity <laughs> through this field of tulips and they've all started to wither at this point. So you're going through this field and there's like there's a path that's just beaten down where the grass has been laid down where so many people have walked back and forth and it's kind of dead. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you don't have to like track at all. You can just follow this path and make your way there. Are we tiptoeing through the tulips? You can if you want to. You're, you're probably flying the tulips by the window. That's where I'll be. So tiptoe. <laughs> if I didn't uh, think it would mess up uh, how Remington has this laid out, I would have just left the call right then. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been worth Anyone it. I would have blamed you if you did. But it's Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> So are we walking or are we on our mounts? Uh, it's up to you guys. Right now you're on your mounts unless you wanted to get off. Um, you I'm can on see. My unicorn. Okay. Oh, the you're on your unicorn. The I'm on my motherfucking unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I want a fantasy movie where that stars Samuel L. Jackson just and it, just a unicorn. That's the story. <laughs> Sam Jackson and a unicorn. That's all I need. That's need. my it's unicorn, good. bitch. Sup, motherfucker. I mean, he'd probably be down for it. As you're continuing on through this field, the ground has started to get mushy, like muddy. Snoosh. And Snoosh. your mounts are starting to, like, walk slower in this. Like, it's not sinking them. They're, like, taking ginger steps as they move forward to the point where they almost stop. I'm going to lean down and, like, put my fingers in it and kind of smell it. Okay. Smells like shit. It, it smells like... Are you going to eat it, too? No, I'm just going to taste like a survivalist tracker. I'm going to taste it. <laughs> okay, the the mud from the ground? The the, the liquid, whatever this liquid the is. The liquid is, okay. Um, it has a really strong magma smell to it, and you touch it to your tongue, and you get like a little bit like you've just put your tongue on a car battery. Oh, Like it's acidic. I turn around and see Zos and do this. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And then his tongue well, falls off. Um, yeah, I, it, this is uh, this is acidic. The, it is. Can you not tell from the burst, smell? A, yeah. a pipe from the ground burst, and Delgorum has pipes going all over this mountain, taking away what they, slag and waste material from mining operations. Right. So that's what it is. Is it is it toxic? Probably. So for everyone so here, this is acidic, not Hasidic. Yes, this is acidic. We need to, it's not kosher. We need to summon <laughs> Captain Planet. There are five of you. With Lord, your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. 
Is he just going to turn everyone into a tree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Don Cheadle. That's the are end of this to, campaign. Are we up to like these two houses and an outhouse yet? No, you guys are still probably. You can see the houses in the distance because this is like kind of. It's rolling fields, but they're very low rolling fields, so you can see pretty well <laughs> straight to the houses from here. There's like a haze in the air that makes it kind of hard to see. Um, it doesn't cut your distance so much, but your eyes kind of burn as you're looking through this haze. And you can just see slime and goop like covering everything, like all the houses and the ground. Um, as you are stopped now, because your mounts without you guys rolling animal handling checks, your mounts aren't going to go any further. Um, I, uh, oh, I disembarked. I will okay. say I disembarked my axe beak before when I started noticing the ground getting like just moist. Okay. <laughs> moist. Yes. Tira, what are you doing? Are you riding I'm with flying. somebody? Or are you just flying? No, I'm flying. I'm always okay. flying. Um, I still have a sheet of that asbestos we got from the fire giants, right? I think so. I don't think you've used it yet. Okay. You're still how, much, how much do I have? My axe beak stops moving. <laughs> yeah, you're not very good at animal handling or fishing. <laughs> your your axe beak it's has cannon. died. I'm, the I'm best trying to look, ever. I'm trying to Google if asbestos is uh, can protect against acid. <laughs> uh, I don't believe so. No, no. All right, so I get do off. We have my anything axe beak. that can protect against acid? I ask. Well, it's not like burning through. It just has an acidic tinge to it, I'm guessing. Is it like hurting my fingers? No. Okay. When I was younger, I once had to save a worker who got caught in a a bunch of slag from a burst pipe, and we had to rush her to the healing huts because it just corroded her skin to almost nothing. Oh. We had to fight me... My friend Hillel, and then a Kinku, I think, named Skrok, had to fight a, what was it, a slime? An ooze. An ooze. Mm-hmm. To, uh, save her. Different than a slime. I could, I just couldn't remember which it was. Yes, we should be fine from the uh, acid that's permeating the ground. It's the oozes that I am worried about. Um, Brandon. Yeah? My fancy jumping boots that I have now that I don't have put in my uh, inventory on D&D Beyond. Mm-hmm. What are they made of? <clears throat> leather and some sort of metal mechanism with like a spring in the heel to give you that jump. Okay. There's a spring in your step. There's, There's a, a snake, snake in, in my, my boot. boot. <laughs> uh, Tiro, roll a whatever the version of spot is. Perception. <laughs> a passive or... Just a regular perception. I assume that you're kind of circling this area. Yeah. As you typically do. 12? Yeah, Yeah, you see, as you get further in, um, behind the houses that are kind of arranged in a U-shape, you see there's a big pipe in the corner. And you guys all see it, too, because there are pipes coming out of the ceiling and out of the mountain and kind of just into the city, or into the village. Uh, Tyrell, you see where the pipe is that's broken. And it looks like there's about a door-sized hole that is out of it. You can't tell from where you are whether it was burst into or burst out of. But there's a door-sized hole, and it's just gooping goop out. It's gooping both as a verb and as an adjective. Oh, okay. Guys, I found the hole. Uh, I look in the direction that he indicates to Mm -hmm. us, and... Do I remember that pipe is the same one that burst all those years ago? Yep. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Did they seriously never fix that? Mm-hmm. They said it burst about a week ago. So they probably didn't fix it 
They fixed that direct problem, but they didn't fix the source of the problem. Yeah. Is what Damn I you, capitalism. Um, how bad is it gooping the goop out? It looks like not. It looks like it's not spitting stuff out. It looks like it's kind of receded a lot. So it's more oozing than gooping. Okay, it's pooping. Yes, it's pooping. It's well, poop. no, you guys are in poop. Because gooping, uh, gooping for me would be like large globs, and oozing is just kind of like eh, as it slowly comes out and runs down Globules. your leg. <laughs> it looks like a gooping ooze. A gooping gooper. It I looks like Gak. Goober, yeah, yeah that know, was my thinking goober, too. It looks yeah. like Gak. <laughs> it's like gray Nickelodeon slime. Um. And you guys have traveled. Neri, did you uh, dismount Ferdinand? Yes, I did. Is his first okay. name Franz? No, <laughs> just Ferdinand. That's Don't the universe name World is Ferdinand. World one. <laughs> D- yeah, okay, no. so you guys have now made your way, we'll say 10 feet from your mounts as you're trying to figure out what to do. And this ooze isn't like going up around your ankles or anything. It's still very faint in the ground. You're kind of just like plop, plop, plopping through it. And it has, like, an acrid smell to it, but it doesn't seem to be burning through anything. So it doesn't appear to be a direct threat. I'm going to go in the direction of the burst pipe, but (coughs) I'm going to yell up to Tyrell. Hey, Tyrell, do you notice any oozes around? There's a lot of ooze. But like the creature. <laughs> Do I notice any ooze oozes among the ooze? <laughs> Roll another perception. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, you see in the center of this little village. You see probably three dead bodies that look like centaurs, and they're encased in, like, a ooze bubble. And that bubble is, like, shaking and seems to be moving slowly towards the party. Yeah, there's a there's a relatively large one with three centaurs in it c- coming straight for you. I look in that direction. Do I see this oozing mass? Yeah, it it looks like just piles of ooze and goop in this little village from the houses that you could see. And so it was hard to make out anything moving towards you, but you definitely see like a wave, like a very slow wave moving down the road towards you guys. Um, How big are these things? It's large. It's large size. So it's like 10 feet by 10 feet long by 10 feet tall. And it's just like, and it's dragging centaur corpses behind it like one of them gets stuck on a rock and starts to get drug out of the body as it continues on towards you Mm. well shit here we go again on my own so do we fight this thing Uh, I would assume so Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to roll initiative. Well, I'm going to draw my... What is this uh, Pokemon weak against? I'm going to draw my Vorpal Swords and uh, get ready. That is his head. All right, let me grab my drink. You guys roll for initiative. In it? 13 plus 4, I believe. I got 12. I have to go to <laughs> oh. oh. All right. 
Ow. What? That initiative roll. Hmm. I got a seven. Dude, fucking me? <laughs> it, no, what? it's... Oh, nothing. I'm just going to kill myself. That's all. No, don't do it. You have so much to live for. Do I? Um, Neri? Yes. Oh, you're going to roll for initiative? Oh, yes. Um, I just I did it with regular dice because yeah. she the does electronic too. dice. The uh, electronic got, dice suck. I said I feel the same way. Uh, mine was a thirteen. What's your initiative plus? No, I, I that's with my roll and my plus. Oh, okay, cool. I ain't a noob. I know how to play. <laughs> oh, I forget all the yeah, time. She's not. A, she's not a Bucky. <laughs> I'm a Bucky. What, are, what did Bucky do? Jeez, noob. Fuck it, finally. No. Hey, so I what did everybody get for their initiative? Oh, it's in I got, the... I got last. I rolled a 17. Well, that's with my plus. I got a rock. Nice, you rock. Thanks, man. I got a 12. <laughs> Neri, you got a 13? Thirteen. Okay. I can't remember. Does she have an insane? Uh, no, my. You have a plus normal. three to initiative. Me? <laughs> yeah. I have a plus normal. five to initiative. Oh. What? I just pulled up whatever was connected in the campaign on D and D Beyond. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I, I still can't get over how broken your character is. Alright, uh, Ethan, roll a d20 without any uh, modifiers on it. Six, six, six. Fourteen. Okay, so slime is first. No. The slime do. What kind of cool shit can this thing do? How big is this ooze? Like Huge. 10 whatever. feet by 10, 10 feet. feet. No, large. Yeah, it's large size. 10 feet by 10 feet? Damn. Yeah. Is it a cube? Yes. It okay. looks like a Minecraft. Well, no. Thing. No, it's not necessarily a cube. This isn't a gelatinous cube. This is a slime. Okay. So it's just like oozing okay. towards you. Like I said, like a wave. Is it a slime okay. or news? They're two it's different. A make up your mind. <laughs> it's a slime. It's a slime that is oozing towards you. Uh, I thought it was okay. news. That was sliming to, towards you. I need to know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and the Secrets of the Ooze. I haven't seen those movies. Ah, uh, there's not slime in there. Lame. No, it's Lame. only oozes. Well, this is a homebrew I'm using. That might be why. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still slime. It should have a slime. Okay, so it moves down the road towards you guys roiling in these rolling centaur bodies inside of them are just like thump, 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 as it's sliding towards you. Do they look clearly dead? Yes. Oh, damn it. Um, who would be in the front? What's your guys' marching order right now? I'm definitely, like, towards the back. Not all the way in the back, but, like, middle-ish, I guess. Okay. I'm definitely, I think I'm in yeah. front because I was initially the one to start off this way i believe bucky and i are relatively in the same marching I'm order like type deal but i'm in the air me. so in the air eight, eight. so it'd be bucky tyrell then me then tegan then mary okay <laughs> so bucky and zoison you guys need to roll a dexterity saving throw Hey, can I long rest since we had a whole session, or? You guys haven't spells? long rested yet. Okay, my spells are still where my spells were. I got a seven. What do I do? I they long I rested thought... after the bugbear. I was going to say, Did I you thought guys we long, long rest after the yeah. bugbear. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can long rest then. I didn't think you guys had. Uh, game. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. 
And what do I need to do, uh, DM? Uh, dexterity saving throw. Okay. Ooh! Uh, 15 plus... I have like a 4 or something? One second. Do you have that rogue ability that if you... Because you beat the DC, so you succeed. Yep. Do you have that rogue ability where you don't take half damage? Take no or damage, is that... yep. You do? Yes, I do. Okay. So, Buckenwald, you take 12 damage. What? Um, this thing, yeah, you didn't meet the uh, dexterity saving throw. So, basically, you're dead. I killed you. Awesome. Blackleaf is dead. No. All right, so as this wave continues to move towards you, it stops and kind of hovers in midair. And then just... It, expels all of this gross ass acidic slime at you like kind of raise up and spits like a big face all of a sudden and I'm gonna dodge roll Zoison, you dodge roll out of the way and Buckingwald you take it straight on the face yeah <laughs> I take the slime on the face okay thanks that's my boy and yeah, it starts to burn you hell yeah and as soon as it does this and it starts to burn you, the slime goes and splits into two slimes. Get and then burned. it is what? your go, Zoe. Oh no, help me. It splits into two slimes? Yep. Oh boy, I got something for this. What's the ground like where we are? Um, it's it's like kind of soggy field. Um, tall grass and tulips and stuff, although the the plants have started to die as you've gotten closer to the city. Like, they've started to brown and yellow and turn brittle. The village, okay. not the city. The city village uh, town. The sillage. Alright, I'm going to um, bring my Vorpal sword up in, like, a salute and clasp it with both hands and draw a uh, magic sigil in the air that ignites into red flaming sparks and uh, I'm going to cast mold earth and I'm going to remove the five feet of earth that is below one of the five foot by five foot slimes and I'm going to excavate it so it falls in and then just drop it on top of it I'm just going to dig a hole and <laughs> bury it. Wait, it doesn't do did damage. The slime but split? It... Yeah, the yeah. slime split. Oh, okay. I missed that part. Okay, so are you you don't have enough room to do it for the for both of the slimes? No, it that's the only because it split was I able to do that cuz it's a 5 foot by 5 foot cube. Okay. That I can activate. Okay, so you bury one of the slimes. You see it immediately start to, like, goop up around where it was buried, like it's trying to reconstitute mm. itself. Mm, but yeah, you, slow it down. you slowed it down for a turn. All right, and then I'm going to move um, in a fashion that puts me behind the other slime. Okay. And then I'm done. All right, Tegan. All right. Um, oh, I'm right. going to roll a knowledge nature for oh, right. um, that, dude. What the fuck? Weaknesses and such for slimes or oozes. What the fuck do you know about slimes? Well, they're slimy. Hold on whole lot of nothing because I don't think there's actual slime. I think they're just referred to as oozes in D&D. &D, but... No, they're slimes. It's oozy. They're slimes. I'm <laughs> pretty sure there slimes. isn't. There's, there's slime. There's slime. No, I looked. There's slime. There's slime. There's one slime. Right now. slime. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting one right now. There's definitely slimes. Is it a slime? Is it, is it a... Is it a... Is it, is it like a I forget slime? what he says. <laughs> yeah, is it a dread slime? I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know nothing. I ain't got no knowledge it's on nothing. It's slimy. Um, you, you've probably <clears throat> heard of slimes before, but you've never really run across one. So you just know the basics that they, they engulf you, that they have pseudopods that'll like punch out at you and try to pull you into them. Um, do I, do, I, like, 
<laughs> do I do I know that it's more effective to use a bludgeoning weapon than it is uh, a uh, a sword or uh, arrows? Um, in five E, it does not matter. Oh, really? They don't have yeah. a they don't they don't have damage they have damage, damage oh, immunities. Nice. Oh no, no, never mind. Uh, slashing weapons are not good on these things. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, but does what? does my character know that? With that roll. You got an eight? No. Okay. All right, then I'm going to fire some arrows into it. Well, arrows aren't slashing anyway. Arrows are piercing, so they're, yes, they they're are not piercing. strong to piercing. That's good. He just pierces the bodies of dead centaurs, one of which is probably my childhood friend, Hello. Why All did right, you so... let him shoot me Ooh. in my genitals? <laughs> is there just one that we're up against right now? Uh, there's the two moment. slimes total. One of them has been buried in five feet of dirt, but it's very quickly rising out of it because it's a slime. All right, I'm going slime. to I'm going to cast Hail of Thorns. As my bonus action. And then I'm going to aim at the one that is not in the ground and uh, do a full bow attack on him. And that will do... Each creature within five feet of it must make a dex save. A creature takes 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful. Uh, what do they have to beat? Like a 12 or a 14 or something? Uh, hold on. I'll let you know what my spell save is. All right, so 23 and a 19 for both. Okay, yeah, that hits. Okay, so it takes 13 damage from the actual arrows. And then... Uh, let's see here. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. My spell save is DC 14, so it has to be to 14. Okay, so you can roll another D10. Okay. Nice. Gets a 10. Gets a 1. Nope. Yep. <laughs> That's not how that works. Doesn't roll at all. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one shot to roll, and you, you failed it. Oh, no! Three damage. This opportunity comes once so, in a lifetime. Yeah. So 13 damage to one and three damage or 16 damage to one and three damage to the other. Gotcha. And that's your full turn. Are you going to move at all or kind of just stand where you are? Nope, that's my full turn. Okay. Neri, it is your go. You were. Um, Kick its ass. Okay. So I. I think I'm just gonna cast Shocking Grasp on one of them. Okay. Um, so I need to roll my attack. Um, missing my d20. Even though I just rolled it. There it is. Um, that would be. Um,. An 18 to hit. Okay, that does hit. And then damage would be. Come on. Uh, there it is. 11 damage. 11 lightning damage, I should say. Oh, something special happens with lightning. Did you do shock and grasp? Yeah. Okay. Was the hand motion to do shocking grasp this? <laughs> shocking shocking grasp is a touch spell. Ooh, so it is. <laughs> Sorry about no, that. No, it's not. <laughs> I tr oh, we'll try to touch. Okay. Yeah, you have to roll to hit. Yeah, I, that's why I rolled. Yeah, I she rolled. did. Oh. Yeah. 
It's because you're you're poking it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, with, so with you move fingers. you move up past them to the front. So Zoacin is on one side of the slime that's has arrows stuck into it. You are now on the other side of the slime. And the slime has kind of risen up almost I'm like a not- snake in the air. And uh, you reach your hands out with shocking grasp and you hit it with electricity and it like glows with electricity, but it doesn't seem to hurt it. And in fact, it almost seems to heal it. Oh mm. no. <laughs> Neary? <laughs> um, how far did I move to get up to that slime? We'll say you moved. What's your speed? Is it? Are you thirty feet or thirty-five? I am thirty. I, I, I'm surprised it wasn't ninety. <laughs> Sorry, thirty. Um, we'll say you move twenty feet. So you still have ten feet if you want to move. Anymore. Yeah, I'll move ten feet back. Okay. Oy. All right, Buck and Wald. Hi. That's me. It's your turn. Okay. How far away am I? Yeah, I was you're you're within. You're within movement if you want to move up to it okay. to be right on it. Um. But how, like, how much would it take for me to move up to it? Twenty feet. Okay. I am going. Everything's to go always up. twenty feet. <laughs> I'm going to move <laughs> to it and then whack it. Uh, okay. Lightning. Okay. Are you gonna Are you gonna attack it too? Or? <laughs> now, just playing a little bit of whack fuck. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna. Get, I'm gonna just draw my hammer. Just run up and just whack. Just whack it. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna whack it off. Yeah. Good roll to whack it. Whack okay. fuck is gonna try to whack. Ram, me you're, you're muted. Fuck. Ram, you're muted. Muted. No, 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 you did. I wonder if he's deaf too. 22 to hit. Okay. Thir- 13 Ooh. damage. Well, now we now we have to watch the VOD to... <laughs> ah, I hit it for 13 damage. And do I get another attack action or no? Yeah, you get two attacks. Okay. I'm going to hit it again. How surprising! The tank again. does tank. The tank and physical attack guy does tank and physical attack things. <laughs> We're about to have a real big problem. Twenty-one to hit. Nine yeah. damage. With okay. magical bludgeoning damage. As you magically bludgeon it with your second hit. It's like an anime where they slice through somebody mm-hmm. up through their body, you know what I mean? And then their body like slides apart. Yeah. It looks More like that, but with, a, but with a slime, another slime, yeah. So it into a smaller slime. It's now about four feet tall. But there are. There's one 10 foot tall slime. You mean two, five foot? Yeah, there were. Oh, the yeah, one, that's right. There's the a 10 foot one split into two five. There's a five foot slime and two three foot slimes. That's not how math works. Well, I'm not going to, they don't necessarily half completely. I'm trying to round up Bucky. You sack of shit. You don't know how to math. (laughs) Tyrell, it's your turn. All right. I'm doing my knowledge nature. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. Slimes exist. <laughs> um, you don't know much about slimes either. You always mistake slimes for oozes. Ah, but I know oozes. <laughs> Do you know the secrets of the ooze? I know. I know that bludgeoning works on oozes. <laughs> but what works on this? I'd assume the same because. Slimes and oozes. I mistake them, so I think it's an ooze, not a slime. <laughs> Good enough. I swoop in to attack. Which one, one are you them. attacking? I don't. 
<laughs> I don't care. One of the smaller ones. One of the smaller ones, okay. <laughs> Wait, is the other one still trying to ooze out of the ground I buried it in, or is it out completely now? It's still, yeah, after, it hasn't hit its turn yet. So yeah, it's after climbing. Tyrell, it's that slime's turn, and that's it's going to take its turn to, recon to reconstruct itself. Okay. So, um, is this advantage now, because flanking? Yeah, they don't have an immunity to being flanked, so... Yeah, you can flank it. Okay. Yeah, that's why I put myself behind it, hoping and wishing and dreaming and stubborn <laughs> and dumbing. God. And wishing. And Hero dreaming. kick its ass. Licking. Uh, and, and 26, or no, 26 hit. Yeah, 26 hits. Um, plus, uh, I guess. And then, uh, so five regular damage and then six lightning. <laughs> okay. You're using, you have lightning? That's right. Yeah. Yep. That's, a, that's why I said we're about to hit a problem. <laughs> Don't use lightning. I scream. Just take them off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just by the time you said that this is already rest. going on. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not been a full round. It hasn't been six seconds yet in battle time. Um... Right, so with your first hit, and after seeing uh, Neri cast her spell, you realize that the lightning is healing this thing. So as you claw out, you claw chunks out of it, and then the lightning that trails behind your hand seems to almost, like, grow the chunks back that you took out. Well, I well, don't but... have quick draw. Quick draw isn't a thing. So can, yes. uh, can I pull them off? Yeah, I'll say you can pull them off for trading off one of your attacks. Okay, and then I spend, and two, then you I spend, key spend your key point, yeah. <laughs> so I'll do two more attacks. God damn it. I really need to change that. Okay. That hits. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, that hits. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, you punch and claw this slime into nothingness. You just, like, you don't dive into it, but you're like a wild animal just ripping this fucker apart. Hooray! Until there's nothing left, and this slime is slimed out, baby. I'm working on a catchphrase for it. Hey. Slimed out, baby. Slimed out, baby. And then the slime that you had buried, Zoacin, uh, has reconstituted itself now, but that's its turn. So it's like a five-foot cube still there. Is that, a, is that an attack of opportunity? No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no. And then the smaller slime goes to attack you, Tyrell. Go figure. Uh, that's not very much. Does an eight hit? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and does a 13 hit? No. Okay. So we're back to you, Zosin. This slime is just like flipping out pseudopods and going crazy trying to hit you, and you're just easily dodging out of the way of it. It's a pretty so, baby slime I'm, at this I'm point. Jack Sparrow swaying. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do the same thing I did last round. I'm going to cast my cantrip Mold Earth, and I'm going to scoop up a five-foot cube, bury the slime, and put Earth back on top of it to slow it down. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's working. Yeah. It's <laughs> fire. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics, and Ethan is playing like a time mage right now. He's just casting yeah. slow on the target. Yeah. All right, uh, so Zosin, are you going to move or anything? Or are you going to stay within flanking? No, he's okay. going he's he's to stand right by and go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is your go, Tegan. Megan Morley. My name is Tegan Morley. All right. <laughs> So with this one, I am going to hmm. 
I suggest a hit. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that okay, probably. Cool. Cool. I mean, that might awesome. that might be a good choice. Yeah, try to attack it. Cool. Oh, yeah. What's the what's that? S, is it S game SP key what? minus one? No. How do I spend key again? CC exclamation point CC key. I don't remember now. Yeah. Yeah. CC key. In the CC key, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Once, once on each of your turns, when you make a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature that is within five feet of the original target within range of your weapon. That's my horde breaker. Don't attack me, bro. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. The slime starts saying it was just a prank. <laughs> I don't know if that means like I only have my two attacks, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can just split them instead of having to fire two arrows at another but one. The other one's underground. Not... Well, that doesn't matter. Arrow can go through ground. It just depends on how much ground is on top of it. Five feet of ground is on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a, you're a good archer, but you're not five feet through straight. I am the best damage. archer, and you <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> Legolas right, uh, in the background. What? <laughs> hey, we'll do L five C. I'm gonna go ahead and do a sharpshooter on this one and see if I can get some extra damage. Slime which it is up. French so for extra damage. Joe, Joe Dimaggio. Where have you gone? Joe DiMaggio. Uh, so 14 and a 7. Probably the 7 misses. Maybe the 14 7 misses. Too. 14 but hits. But the 14 hits. All right, so it takes 19 damage. hey hey Okay. You Wait, drive an arrow. One oh, arrow hits it and seems to have just absolutely no impact on it. Like, it hits at a weird angle and just gets engulfed into it would he not get would he not get the uh flanking bonus even though me and no, uh, i'm 10 feet away or more is that how it works in fifth ed i'm gonna assume you, so you, i, I could have sworn you still <laughs> you, you'd still get it in uh three and a half i'll i'll no you don't get it in three and a half for sure i know that um but i'll double check but we'll play it as if we don't right now okay and your second I, arrow takes a big chunk out of the side of it. It spins at just the right angle to just like and burn it everywhere. It's disgusting. Ew. And uh, Neri, it's your go. I cast fireball. No, I'm oh, shit. Do it. Oh, shit. Do it. No. What up? Um, do it. I do have fireball, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm actually going to cast. Um, Fireball. <laughs> yeah. He downs a shot bottle of fireball. <laughs> um, no. So actually, um, where is it? I have to get it. It's Tyrell. Tyrell immediately combusts. <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's called Shadow Blade. Nice. Um. So basically, um, I weave together threads of shadow to create a sword of solidified solidified gloom. Um. It lasts up up to a minute um and it's in- there it is in uh, chat yeah the simple melee weapon 2d8 psychic 2D8. okay i want to know what solidified gloom looks like <laughs> uh me <laughs> <laughs> and uh that that's it because i don't have a bonus action okay so you wave your hands around and summon this magic sword. Does it look like pure energy or what color is it? Like, how do you it's, picture it's it in like, your head? Um, like a dark purple. What's, okay. What dark are you casting it black. at? You're Picturing casting the it dark saber from Star Wars, but purple. Second level. Okay. Okay, it is your turn, Buckenwald. You have Ooh. one three foot slime there. Wait, that's only a bonus whoa, action. Did whoa, she whoa, attack whoa. with it? Yeah, oh yeah, it is a bonus action. It. Yeah, you still have a movement and an attack. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Nary. Attack this shit. What? I don't know if she. Yeah. I think she may have left. B. B. No. There's a B. There's a B in my boot. <laughs> okay, well, we'll continue with you, Buck and Wald, and when she's back, she can take her attack. Okay. Watch her internet has just got out or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's the three foot one. And then. The big one is buried in a hole and is starting to like reconstitute yeah. itself, like ooze out again, slime so, out again. So it doesn't need, need, they don't need my help with that one. No, no one that did. one's pretty much stalled right now. Okay. I'm going to just wail on this other slime. I'm just going to beat <laughs> this other slime off this plane of existence. God damn okay. it. <laughs> beat it off. Yep. You're gonna whack it, and then you're gonna beat it off. Come on, Bucky. There's a skeeter on my Peter. Whack it off. Whack it. There's a dozen on my cousin. What? Whack her off. What? Uh-huh. That's part of the song. There's a skeeter on my Peter. Whack it off. I got a twenty to hit for my first one. Twenty hits. So ten damage. Okay. Uh, you have advantage, by the way. There's a yeah, dozen not, on I'm my cousin. Make use it on that one because it was a twenty. <laughs> well, that was a total of a 20. You, you get a plus a 11 to hit? Jesus yep. Christ. You're two-handed. Yep. Oh, okay. No, I think that even... Uh... No, you, you get you get uh, half extra strength when you use two-handed. Okay. Uh, one-handed, I only... Wait, what? One handed for the uh, seven, but yeah, your attack bonus is 11. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his base is nine. He's a level 10 character. I can get advantage. He's got, on a, plus, the second he's got a plus right? two to hit because yep. of the magical weapon because of the light. Bringer. I keep forgetting you guys are as high level as you are as far as like your attack rolls and stuff. Yeah, that's weird. I only have a plus eight as uh, a 25 to hit. Yep. To deal yeah, another fifteen. I'm totally not. So a total off. of twenty-five damage. All right. Yeah, you whack this thing off. Is yeah, make it splooge everywhere? <laughs> and then you kill it. Is you just area? you well, hammer guess. you two-handed hammer this thing just into paste, and it's <laughs> flying Is everywhere. Technically already paste. No. Shut up, Bucky. <laughs> it is. Well, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter if Neri's back or not. Well, there's, well, there's still another, another five, five foot. Is. Yeah, but she can't attack because it's not up. Okay, it is back to that slime's turn, and it rises out of the ground again. And now it's your gozo. I said, <laughs> "Rise from your grave, cast mole." No. uh... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is cast solidify ooze. Yeah, uh, I mean, I could. Uh, <laughs> I think I cast another spell though. I know. You gonna okay. cast kill slime? Yeah, I cast kill slime at will. Why did I give you that spell? It's an awesome spell. I'm going to cast Firebolt. Okay. Firebolt, Firebolt. 2d10, and there is a uh, attack of plus 7. So, 21 to hit. 21 hits. Yep. Let me uh, roll 2d10 here. Aha! Eight and a seven. Fifteen, 15 damage. Fire! Fire! Fire!
Uh, B. Yes. Hey, B. Oh. Me. Uh, it's your right. turn hey. to hit this thing with a shadow blade. You should have hit the last one on your turn because it was only a bonus action to cast that spell. You had an attack and a movement. Oh, I did not know that. Hmm. Yeah, we were trying to get in touch with you, but no, you I, disappeared. Yeah, I, I had a quick technical <laughs> difficulty. Everything just kind of glitched on me. So, <laughs> okay. okay. So... Um, can she well, take her time, attack now? On me, so yeah, you can take your attack Is now. that okay? Okay. Yeah. Um. So that would be... That's 12 psychic damage. Did you roll to hit? Oh, yeah. I should probably do that. Do you have to roll to hit? Yeah, yeah it's just yeah, a simple... Yeah. Um, and you're proficient in it, so... Yeah. Um, does an 18 hit? Yes. Okay, so then 12 psychic damage. Sweet. All right. Um, I totally forgot. You guys are going to take some damage. I forgot, but I don't want to write this out. Uh, Buckenwald, you take... <laughs> uh, 13 acid damage. The fuck I do? Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I only have... Hero, you take 10 to... acid damage. Do I not get to roll a constitution? Please? Nope. No, this is, um, if you hit this thing with a melee attack, you take mm. damage. Ow. I forgot, so this is a going forward. Tank. And I what's the, uh, command for that? What's that? Game HP? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, game, game HP, HP. Minus. minus. And Neri, you take 11 damage from, uh, the acid flying off of this thing as you swipe your blade through it. Okie dokie. You hear Elvish screaming dot mp3 in the background. <laughs> it's an mp3. That's good compression. Yeah, it is. You can almost will him I prefer that. OGs. <laughs> you mean right, OGGs? Yeah. Buckingwall just lets out dwarven scream dot pdf. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even hear it. You have to read it. Yeah. I, just, I, I hand you a... Damn it, I don't have Adobe Acrobat. <laughs> it's the castle of... Uh, Would you like to update your Acrobat reader? <laughs> uh, Tegan, it's your go. I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Done. Bye. I'm gonna kill him. I'm dead. He wanted to kill me. <laughs> that way All I can right. bring in my next character. I'm gonna <laughs> sharpshoot the shit out of this thing. Okay. Until it's dead. That's fantastic. I'm going to miss on the first one, but Ooh. I'm going to hit for 18 on the second one. Ooh. God damn. Ooh. Oh, hot damn. Okay, so how does this thing split, Tegan? Because you hit it to the point where it splits into two smaller oozes. What do you want that to look like? So the first arrow, arrow, so the first arrow fires off and it's trying to take a swipe at somebody else and it just goes through the hand doesn't really do any damage uh to it but kind of throws it off its game and then the other one i pull down a mm -hmm. little bit and compensate for that first miss let go and um shoot it right in as the mouth. Al almost slices as it's like out. as it's full stretching forward to move it just slices right down the middle of it okay. and then it splits into two three foot size oozes. Question Does that arrow go through uh, coming towards me? Uh, so you can grab it? <laughs> yeah. Throw it back? <laughs> yeah, and throw it at one of the three foot cubes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. 50%. Okay, let's see. I have to beat a 51 18? or better. Well, no, 18. So I need a four or better. Jesus. I uh, no. I take two damage. <laughs> 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 well, that's fine. I try. I wanted to do something cool. I paid the price. Yeah. Yep. You tried. Sometimes yeah, it happens. Matters. 
You guys just have an arrow sticking out of your bird nipple. <laughs> it's in my hand. I caught it. No. Yeah, it just right in the palm. That's his nipple. Nature's bullseye. All right, Neri, it is your go. You are now staring at two three-foot-tall slimes. Uh, I'm gonna smack one again. Okay. With my blade. Smack um, down. Blade smack. That is a twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits. And that's eleven psychic damage. Jesus. Man. You destroy one of these slimes. Uh, you do take damage from hitting it with a melee attack. That's fine. You take 10 damage. Oof. Fuck that slime. And you just cut this slime in half, and it looks like it's trying to reproduce, but there's not enough uh, substance there to reproduce. And it just kind of like, bleh. Reproduction. That's how they reproduce. And then the baby slimes grow up to be big slimes. Put my stamen And if they're good, the Slime test. Santa visits them. <laughs> Cut my life into pieces. No, I was grease tooing. This is my plastic fork. Do you get two attacks, Neary, or just one? Just one. Okay. Uh, it is your go, Buckingwald. <laughs> it is? Oh, unless you wanted to move, Neary. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm good. Okay. And don't forget you have advantage on attacks. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys are just surrounding this thing and just beating it to death. Yep. Please. <laughs> beating We're it. unloading whacking, on this slime. Whacking, <laughs> whacking it and beating it off. I have what, a slime what's, family. What's Bucky's next one. Bucky, I am I'm here. Hello. Slimes can't take magical light damage, can they? No. You might as well kill it. They have like no health at the three foot stage. Okay. Um, are they close together? There's There's only only one slime left. There's a three foot slime. I murder the fucker. Hopefully. Good luck. Advantage advantage. Twenty three to hit. And twelve damage. Yep. Do I murder it horrifically? Well, first you take eight damage. Okay, Ow. I'm dead. I'm nowhere close to dead, so. And then you kill it. <gasps> you smash it. <laughs> It'd be like having a piece of jello and then just smushing it with your hand. Hey, my uh, health is the meaning of life. <laughs> the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Told you, Brandon, I haven't read it yet. Well, read it. Or at least watch the movie. <laughs> um, so... Okay, so these slimes are dead. I There's like a... how I murdered it? I did. I said you smashed it like Jello. Yeah. Oh, you want to describe make, it? I wanted to make it more cinematic. Okay. You I smash it. hammer and smashes it like Jello. <laughs> I take my hammer and I smash it like Jello. But like <laughs> as it comes down to make contact with the ground, because I assume it's doing the thing where like splits and it's the parting of the slime sea. Yeah. Uh, I just whisper just to show off because I can. Uh, at the last second before it hit the hits the ground, I say Sanor Zud, and then it just goes and the light. <laughs> Okay. From my hammer. Just to make it cinematic as, AF. As he's done with that, I'm going to be smoking a cigarette that I've been smoking for the last minute as he's been executing the slime. And I'm going to walk up and snub my cigarette out on it and go, son of a suit. And then walk away. <laughs> Throw an axe at Zosin's face. Yeah, don't you guys have a current, current uh, broiling feud because of the Book of Dicks? <laughs> I don't remember. Was I here for that? Yeah, you guys were both here for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know how suck. many? You, that was probably like a, at least a month ago. Mm. If my catchphrase is "I'm gonna go pee," then Ethan's catchphrase is "I wasn't here for that." <laughs> <laughs> What's he my promised, catchphrase? Remember, remember, Bucky Buckingwald promised you a book of 
spells for you, and then okay. he gave you the he gave you my book, book of big, right back, book guys. of dicks, and then yeah. you cock blocked him with uh, someone he was trying to sleep with by telling them telling them he had an STD or something. <laughs> I forgot about that. It wasn't my uh, it wasn't the vampire lady, was it? No, oh, no. It was no, no. the yeah. B. This happened a long time ago. I successfully seduced a vampire lady. That's hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I now carry around a vial of her blood so I or someone else can turn into a vampire at so any point. You, you basically did a, a Lady Demetress. Well, actually, yes. I, I, I haven't played that game. <laughs> um, however, I had been sleeping with her first. <laughs> oh, damn. So you got sloppy seconds. Yeah, but she appreciated me more because she had a thing for dwarves. And I gave her a really fancy bejeweled box. Interesting. Except most of her house is filled with my with my glasswares. <laughs> <laughs> and I have an avatar shirt. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, also I totally forgot. We'll say Yellow Jacket stayed back at the um Oh, camp yeah. with the centaurs because I forgot about him again. <laughs> he said, "I ain't oh, fucking hey, with no slimes." After after we deal with the slime, where are we located? Are we in the village? Yes. Are we in the one civil one top fine bullshit We're one intersection town? In centaur on. Yeah, basically, you're in this one stop sign bullshit town. Okay. Uh, there are gonna... four houses that are pretty big because they hold multiple centaurs and they're kind of built like barns, like indoor barns Barn where they can them. sleep. And those houses like have started to crumble down from the acid from the oozes. Uh, you guys are walking. The ooze that you're walking in is now kind of up to your ankles, maybe a little bit higher. So with you, Buck and Wald, it's up to your knees pretty much. As please, you're just please. like... I would recommend to everybody to not actually walk through the ooze. I wasn't walking through the ooze. This pipe, is it like gushing water? Is there water coming out of the pipe? It's or gushing waste ooze. Or whatever. It's not gushing. It's yeah, oozing. It's, it's oozing, oozing, ooze. oozing slime. Oozing ooze slime. Sleuth. Okay, I'm going to attempt to cast uh, a spell. I'm going to take out my sword that I've kind of been, the Vorpal sword, I've kind of been using it as a staff, like hilt uh, up, like I'll hold it blade down, hilt up, and I'm going to uh, tap it against the pipe, and as the sound rings out, I'm going to reach my other hand back up and kind of mold it into a white mist and try to shape water and see if I can't, uh, if the ooze is liquidy enough for can I control the flow of it a little bit? Okay. Um, <laughs> or does it not work? Not as far as the magic goes. It's only for water. But I'll let you roll an arcana to see if you can uh, maybe control the ooze a little bit. I'm going to have to roll digital dice because I'm outside. Damn it. Not digital dice. Fucking hate digital dice. Digital dancing. Let's see. Did it roll? It didn't roll, did it? <laughs> Why is it not rolling? No, I don't want to roll two of them. <laughs> One sec, what I forgot to take my meds. I'll be right back. Okay, you're good. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to have to dip at 8.30. You're good. Yeah. How do I roll this? Why is it not rolling? Rem, can you roll a d20 for me, please? It won't let me roll for some reason. I just realized something. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Rem, will you roll a 20 for me? Brandon, I, I just told them, but I'm going to have the piece at 830. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. I did. Your digital Rolled dice uh, took a uh, took a hit on you. They took a big old dookie on you. You got a ten. Okay. I uh, plus seven, so seventeen. No, no, no that's Total with 10. your plus seven. You rolled a three. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. Damn yep, you, digital dice. 
I, I hate those digital dice. It's only because right. you talk about how bad they are. <laughs> Is it gonna rain? Is it gonna rain, baby girl? You can't, uh, you can't control the use, but or you can't control the slime. But also, as you were making your way up there, I kind of glossed this over because you just went right to the pipe. Um, <laughs> you see, <laughs> all about that pipe. <laughs> <laughs> all about that pipe. No trouble. You got you make it up and you see a couple things there. There's a lot of dead bodies of dwarves laying around on the ground, like half eaten and destroyed, like half eaten away by acid. And they look like they're covered in slime. Um, So there's like skeletal arms on dwarven bodies and there's six of them. And they're all wearing jumpsuits or what's left of jumpsuits. And then beside the pipe kind of sticking half out is the only way I can describe it is like a motorcycle without wheels. There's like some sort of vehicle, a two-person vehicle sticking out of the ground like it crashed. Do I recognize any of the doors? Um, you don't, re- you go up to one of the dwarves and from what, like you go up to one of the dwarves that is still left intact the most and you lift them up and you don't recognize who they are but you recognize the name tag of Callaways, which is a dwarven uh, yeah. mining operation. Uh, they never change. And then you attempt to cast control water, shape water, whatever it was you were casting Zoacin, and you it doesn't affect the slimes at all. It doesn't do anything. The shape water spell isn't working. I... I'm going to look in the door-sized hole. Is there a blockage below it or above it? Or It seems like at the base of this, so this pipe is, we'll say, like 10 feet around. It's a pretty big fucking pipe. Yeah. And there's a door-sized hole cut into it. You look in, and at the base of the pipe is still standing ooze. Like, it's not moving. And then from the top of the pipe is ooze that's kind of overflowing. Like, it's dripping very slowly at this point, but it's overflowing the basin and kind of gooping out. Okay. The hole, from what you can see, looks like a perfectly cut circular door size hole. Weird. So it looks not monster made, but looks Humanoid. intentionally made, yes. Yeah, intentional. That's the word. How are we going to Buck- block this? Buckenwald. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can, you do utilize, I look- can, can you utilize your um, knowledge of smithing to see what or how this hole was cut because it was clearly cut. Um, I will, but first, let me take a selfie. No. Um, butts are I'm for city! If, I'm gonna look around and see if there's like a shutoff valve for this pipe anywhere. Um, would I roll something? There's there's not a shutoff pipe within the immediate area. I mean, you can roll if you want to, like, fuck off into the fields and start looking for one, you can. Yeah, but you where can you're at it. right now, there's not, like, a shut-off pipe right okay. by the pipe. Uh, I'm going to uh, walk up and take a look at the edge of the hole. Okay. It is perfectly cut. It is, a, like, a perfect circle. Okay. Ah, good band. So, could I roll like investigation to see if it was because it, if it's a perfect circle I don't think it burst I think someone might have done something to it okay. yeah so what did you want to roll for it uh, would it would that be investigation yeah, yeah you can roll an investigation to see if you can figure out exactly what happened with it I'll give her advantage one I one may one might say a tool was made was used to make a perfect circle like a compass no, no, okay. no, that was a terrible band yeah. joke, but it was pretty good at the same time. Um, can I, can, <laughs> with me it, looking at it as well, can I? Twenty, aka twenty nine, sound. Oh shit! <laughs> a nat twenty yeah. sounds just fine. Tell us what um, happened here, Mary. Well, uh, you roll, see, 
<laughs> creates an illusion. Here's the entire story. <laughs> uh, roll Literally a... whips up a TV. Neri, roll an arcana also. Okay. That would be... Oh, no. A dirty 20. A dirty 20, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this this hole was created by magical means. Something perfectly carved this into a circle. Um, as you're like kind of running your finger along the outside edge of it and feeling that it's a very smooth cut, you can feel residual planar magic. Like magic was used, specifically planar magic was used to cut this hole. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's really plain. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I, I yeah, turn and I share in that information with everybody. It's like, um, so this was cut by something magical. It did not burst. Hmm. Ah, oh, I see. Magical. So this pipe was not bussin' bussin'. No. So, Asin, roll a... Investigation, I guess? No, roll an insight. Alright. 13 plus... Hold on. Stand I move... Uh, out of game, I move for the party to never have to make a roll again and just have B roll for everything. <laughs> 18. You got an 18 on insight? Okay, you've seen this vehicle before, this motorcycle style mm -hmm. vehicle before. This was the vehicle of choice for the higher up rankings of the Minotaur Knights on the Bloodfields of Ishtar. Shit, I'm gonna walk over to it and investigate if it has saddlebags on it or compartments, maybe okay. a dash. Is he gonna become the spirit of vengeance? He quite possibly Why? could. Uh, Ghost Rider Zoison, yes. <laughs> Yeah, there is, from what you know about these things, they use some sort of, like, magnetic magic, something that you've never really mm. studied because it's kept mostly in the Shunod Empire, where the Minotaurs are from. Okay. But there is, you know that they use some sort of magic to start these things. And okay. as you're looking at it, there are a couple saddlebags, but there's also where a big bag would be placed on the back is conspicuously missing. Okay. You dig through the saddlebags that are there and you find like dried foods and things like that. You don't find anything worth taking. Well, I'm going to take it. It looks like food. whatever was worth taking was already taken. I'm taking the dried food. It's worth taking. Okay. Everything that was worth taking I, was took. I'm going to mold took? earth around it so I can move the earth and excavate it and pull it out and set it up like it would normally be, like on the ground. Okay. And I'm going to inspect it. Does it have the symbols of the Minotaur army? Yeah. Minotaur army? The Minotaur army, yeah. It has the symbols yeah. of the Minotaur army on it. Okay. And, Which uh, I haven't come up with yet. So if you have any idea what a Minotaur army symbol would look like, feel free to share. How about a Minotaur head? I got gotcha. you. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is um, turn to everyone and, and draw my Vorpal sword and say this this is the weapon or this is the uh vehicle of the enemy the minotarmi from the blood fields of ishtar i'm gonna look around fucking... like i'm gonna look at the ground and shit like looking for tracks i i'm gonna look over at tyrell and be like not the fucking fields again i've already got my head in my palms <laughs> This is serious, guys. Shape it up. Form up. <laughs> Alright, uh, roll a... Stop standing there with your cock holsters gaping and get fucking moving. <laughs> the enemy's feeling, about. I have a feeling we should probably try to repair the pipe. You you um made me almost spit beverage everywhere. <laughs> uh, if you want to track Zoacin, roll a investigation, I guess. Is that what you roll for tracking, Tegan? Nature investigation. Depends on which one you want to use. 11 Nature... plus 7. I got another 18. Okay. 11 plus 7. Yeah, you do see tracks like hoof 
tracks from a Minotaur. You've tracked many a Minotaur in your day, and you definitely see Minotaur tracks going off into the field away from where you guys came in. I'm going to point he that way. I'm going to point these tracks lead that way. It's hooved. It's a Minotaur. Was it just one set, or can I tell? It just looks like one set. Now, Zoe said, are you sure it's a Minotaur? Because in the the village we're in is occupied by centaurs who are all who also I understand. Have I understand. It's different. Minotaurs are much bigger. <laughs> Trust me. By a lot. Would I have ever seen a Minotaur? Probably not. Uh, the Minotaur Kingdom or the Minotaur Empire of Shunod hasn't really been around. They are fighting with Orc and Ray. Okay. Like fighting on the side of Orc and Ray. Okay. Um, I know of them. I need to. I've drawn a map of the world. I need to show you guys the map sometime, because you have the Kingdom of Pyrrha, and then underneath that you have Axadricia, which is where the uh, Dragonborn are from, and then s- below that to the south is the Shunod Empire. Just Compared to Pyrrha, the Shunod the Empire Discord. is very tiny. Do you have where I'm from? Uh, you are from. Unless you change it, you are from the Dart, which is where the lizard folk live. So you're on the continent of Pyrrha, or on the continent of Fingray is where you guys are at. And then you have the Pyrrha Kingdom, and then to, if you're staring down at the map, to the west on the map is the Dart where the lizard folk live, and it's basically unmapped. It's just a huge swamp. Do you have, do you have it in front of you? No, I don't have it handy. Um. I'm going to walk up. Are there any centaur outside right now? Yeah, but I mean, you'd have to walk. You're like 10 minutes into town. You'd have to walk back 10 minutes. Okay. They, the, all the centaur had left town. Okay. Gotcha. The only reason, yeah, the only the centaur only reason, you see are dead bodies. The only okay. reason we're back Do in I here is because Buck and Wald's friends everywhere. came back in to let the bodies hit the floor. Or his okay. father, I think, came back in to look for him, I think is what it was. So these tracks, do they go towards a building or do they just go towards the open field? They go towards the open field. Of Ishtar. Okay, I'm going to start following them. Is it, is it like just an open expanse or is it just... Yeah, it's hills? like an open expanse. It's like fields that the minotaurs or the centaurs would just kind of frolic in and pick flowers and cut down wood to make because Aftlight is like Amish country. Okay. Is what I based it off of. So there's big open fields and it's kind of a tourist attraction to some people. They come and pick flowers and shit like that. Tyrell. And zoos and cheese factories. Yeah. Tyrell, and, the or track- centaur cheese. Tyrell. While tiptoeing through the tulips. The tracks oh. go off in this direction. Could you maybe fly up and see if you see anything? Maybe. Sure. Uh, Brandon, while they're all doing that, after I finish looking at the cut of the hole in the pipe, I'm going to start going around to the centaur bodies nearby and see if I can find Hello or his son. Because you said I would recognize his son. Yeah, you've met him a few times. It's been like five years since you've seen Hello and okay. his son, Christus. Okay. I... Christus. Uh-huh. That's what you named him. Is it? Yeah, you used a random name generator, and I wrote it down. His name is Chris Deuce. <laughs> wow, Chris Poop. I, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. It's funny, because my roommate's name is Chris. <laughs> uh, okay, so I since it's... Well, hold on one second. Yeah, I'll have you roll in just one second. But since it's hitting 8.30, Neary... Um, I assume you just want to kind of stay with the party and stay in the back yeah. while they do this? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I will see you guys later. All right, later. Thanks for playing. Yeah. And she doesn't say it. Just leaves. (laughs) Say it back. (laughs) Say bye, (laughs) damn it. (laughs) Uh, So now I've got to fix that. (laughs) So I roll in. Let's Let's take a short break while Remington does that. Let's take a short break while Remington does that and Bucky pees. At the same time? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to double pee. Pee buddies. T. 
Tegan? Yeah. There's been a Minotaur through these parts. He's alone, but he's part of the Minotaur me. I've seen their symbols before. It's on this mag bike. Yes, I am aware of them. Don't forget I that I fought for here. the other side. I understand, but I'm just curious how he even got here. I thought the Minotaur me had been disbanded. I couldn't tell you that. That was after I had already joined the Pyramid Military. I feel like we should track it down. It's, it's interesting dangerous. that it, it's interesting that its vehicle got here and probably portaled from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But portals aren't. I'm cheap. wondering why. It, well, I'm wondering why it left its vehicle. It <clears throat> could have easily pulled it from the ground with its strength. Maybe there's more oh. broken than just it being buried halfway in mud. Maybe. I'm going to inspect it and see if I can get it running. Uh, would you like for me to? Because I do have uh, proficiency with vehicles. Land vehicles. Yeah, uh, it does take some magic, so I'm going to roll an arcana on it or an investigation, one of the two, and see if I can figure out. If you'll look at the actual mechanics of it, I'll look and see if I can figure out what kind of magic sigils or whatever sure. need to happen. Okay, We're gonna I'm here. You can roll an arcana. 19. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Got another, one more try? <laughs> I forgot how that worked. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I do? Right. So, oh, so listen, right. you know that all of the Minotaurs are slightly magical. It just comes part and parcel with being a Minotaur. Um, so to start this thing, you have to cast a cantrip into it. Okay. And then you have to concentrate. So as long as you're on the vehicle, you have to continue to concentrate. Like, you can't cast any other spells or anything. Okay. While you're on the vehicle. <clears throat> I did a well, vehicle check. Yeah, you could drive this fucker. <laughs> I'm going to cast a cantrip on it so it starts up. And I'm just going to stand beside it. Okay. See if um, it runs. It doesn't start from the side. From As you're looking at the um, dash of it, it has what looks like two big handprints on it. So as you kind of investigate, you climb into the seat and put both your hands on it and cast the magic. You're using the magic equivalent of a cantrip to basically jumpstart this thing. And it purrs to life and rises off the ground about 10 inches. And it's just kind of floating. And this thing looks like a boar. So it's like a, uh, looks like a motorcycle without wheels, except the front goes down and curves up. And then there are two horns that they would use during battle to like run into you and gore you with. Mm -hmm. And then out the back are two exhausts that fire flames out of it as it drives. Damn. From the flame elemental that you know is trapped inside of there. That helps to run this thing. Okay. Um, well, we've got the does bike it look, up and running. Does it look like the Horde Chopper? Uh, throw a picture of the Horde Chopper in chat. Maybe that's where I'm uh, subconsciously stealing it from. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm just like... picturing like spikes all over it, like real guttural, like how fucking violent the Minotaurs are. Um, do you want me to roll an investigation to look for hello? Uh, you don't need to roll an investigation. You can take like a 10. So you can it probably take you like 10 minutes to just go around to the bodies and search. Oh, they're doing all this him. bullshit. Yeah, I don't understand. I am blacksmith. I only know hammer and metal. <laughs> Why aren't you fixing the goddamn pipe? Uh, 
Yeah, kind of like that. Didn't you say it had like a sidecar or no? No, it does not have a sidecar, but it's long enough and there's like a double saddle that two people can fit on it. Okay. And Buckenwald, you do not find, as they're kind of mulling this over and looking, um, what was everybody doing? Buckenwald, you do not find Hillel's body. And you also don't find any bodies of children. It looks like the, the centaurs got the children out first and foremost. Um, Tiro, you're flying around. Did you roll an investigation already and I missed it? No. Okay, roll an, or, uh, not an you investigation. You left right as uh, we decided I was doing that. Okay, roll a perception. I don't see shit. Oh, perception? Yeah. Okay. What do you perceive? Still don't see shit. Eyes. What do your Aarakocra eyes perceive? <laughs> yeah, the they haze... found shit. <laughs> the haze from this slime makes it too hard for you to see into the fields past a certain point. So Is it the haze from the radius, slime or the haze from the alcohol? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort it's a double haze effect that's being taken on you right now. And you can't see anything Bio. within your immediate area. You you don't see anything out of order. The alcohol haze gives me heat vision. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got an idea. I'm gonna as I'm sitting on the bike, I'm gonna say, Tegan, hop on the back. Bucky, hop on the bitch bar in the front. We'll hunt down this Minotaur. I'm You're gonna... still missing two people. Well, I'm you can fly, to... and Miri's going to yeah. stay here with the pipe and make sure nothing else comes out of it while we go <laughs> hunt the Minotaur. And Tegan is a badass thick elf. He'll figure it out. Um, I'm oh, going he's to... riding on the back. Yeah, he's going to ride on the back. What health potions does the party have? The bar. I think I have one regular health potion. I can't remember if I have one or not. I think my last I'm, few, I gave one to you and kept one. Okay. I'm going to pull out one of the healing potions I have in my pack, bite the cork out, pull it out, spit the cork, down it. And here's my downing it. Wait, what is it? I'm just going to do a roll for it, because a 2d4 plus 2. Make a dexterity check to see if you can actually pull the cork out with your teeth and not bite into the glass. Shut up. <laughs> Brayden didn't tell me to do that. <laughs> Say it. Do it. Uh, plus five. So. I add five to my thing. Nice. All right. This is how I imagine I take it take the glass bottle. I bite the thing off, I spit the cork, I down the potion, I slam it and just throw it into the ground so it just shatters. And then I need to think of something badass to say. Uh, I can't. Let's fucking like go. A and I just mount the bitch bar. Yeah, hell yeah. On the front, like, you know how when Well, that one, like, CSI crime show yeah, plays in the background. All right, um, so who's driving this thing? I am with Tegan on the back and Bucky on the front bar. You sure you want to drive it and not let Tegan drive it since he can drive it? Well, yeah, I guess I could concentrate from the back seat. Yeah, that would probably be better. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. I'll hold my shield out in front like a So you boss. want me to roll another uh, vehicle check? Yes. Okay. I slapped, all die. I slapped what? Bucky upside the back of the head. <laughs> the the engine what? explodes with a nuclear vengeance. Completely, completely in character, I literally slapped Bucky upside the back of the head. Grim. <laughs> all right. What uh, what uh, thing do you want me to use for it? Strength, dex, intelligence. Was that? Oh, what's choosing? your highest skill? Plus three. My dexterity. 
Okay, so who would be better at driving a motorcycle who had never driven a motorcycle well, before? Well, I get, I get, I get a plus proficiency though, because I'm proficient. No, in I know. Vehicles. Okay. But I'm just, I'm just saying, would it, who could drive a motorcycle better, a juggler or a professor? If you've never ridden a motorcycle before, is it more based off dexterity or is it more based off of understanding weight distribution and shit? Both. Well, I think dexterity <laughs> would be probably better, honestly. Yeah, because it's one thing to understand how it how to do that, but it's another thing to actually do it. Because, like, you can understand the concept of how to ride a bicycle, but your body may not understand how... Like, you would need both might not be able to tell your body what to do to ride you a bicycle. You would need the dexterity and the strength to do it. <laughs> okay. So roll a dexterity, Tegan. Okay. <laughs> I, I was just, I was channeling like, this is a, this is a fucking conversation that I would make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that bullshit role mongering fucking how do physics works. <laughs> Except that it's not then, prudent. <laughs> Brandon, you could just say it's whatever you want, because it clearly states that on page, fuck you, you're the DM. Uh, I think he passed. <laughs> you hop on this thing and uh, Zoacin has started it. And Bucky is on the front. Tyrrell, you've taken off. Uh, Neri has struck has struck a pose of awesome sorcerousness, and she's waving her hands around and making sure with her arcana that nothing is coming out of this pipe. And um, Tegan, you do like a full circle in the ooze and like spit up ooze everywhere, and then you take off through the fields. I'm gonna I'm gonna be pointing him along the tracks since I already discerned where they were. Okay, so you follow in the direction of the tracks and then until you come upon two mountains, like 15 foot tall mountains, like uh, funerary humps in the ground, like a burial mound. And in between them, you see a figure standing there with a sword out and the sword is on fire and it's glowing blue flames are licking off of it. And his other hand is just up, and he's watching I'm, you as you drive close to him. I'm going to whisper in Tegan's ear, run him down, run him down. So we're chasing the mountain tars. Yes. I'm also going to have my Vorpal sword out to the side like Cloud Strife on the Final Fantasy VII bikes. All right. I Are am you running going him down, to, Tegan? I'm going to rush him. Uh, but instead of going for a gore with the with the bike, I'm going to uh, nudge Zoison and tell him to use his vorpal. Okay. So, so we're going to attack someone completely random. It's the Minotaur, yeah. No, the Minotaur. There's two. There's a dude standing between two mountain, two Minotaur-sized funeral humps. Well, that, uh, as we get what? closer, is this the Minotaur or not? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, that's not what you said. <laughs> no, the Minotaur is standing in between two small mountains. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't descri <laughs> describing Minotaurs as mountains. These are literal, like, burial mounds that are, like, 15 feet tall. And he's standing between them. Like, oh, okay. Like that's a cross cool. necklace tucked between cleavage. It's... Yeah, oh, oh. So as <laughs> I <laughs> so as I gun towards him, I'm going to say, uh, "If you value your life, lay down your weapon in the name of the Pura military." He looks like he's readying himself to get hit by this motorcycle. He like strikes a pose. Does he do any of that? that I asked him to nicely? No. He ignores it completely. He is bracing himself and is preparing to jump on this motorcycle. Alright. Take him out, Zosin. That's my that's my All turn right, is to uh, rush him. Can I two-hand this? You can two-hand yeah, anything. You know, if you, Since I'm not driving, I mean, okay. Yeah, if you two-hand it, it's a 2d8. If you one-hand it, it's a 2d6. All right, and I add plus what then if I two hand it? One point five. 
times your What's your sword bonus. called again? Divine, Divine Hunger. hunger. Okay. I got a 15 plus whatever I had. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you get... Hello? You You're get here. uh you get a one D ten instead of a one D eight to use it two handed, and then it's another plus one D eight slashing damage. Okay, but do I add the do I get an extra plus or no? No, I think you just get Yeah, it just steps up to, damage. to hit. I'm just saying to to yeah, hit it's is it's what still I'm a plus three. I gotta... Okay. Uh yeah. uh I might use an inspiration point, my last one, because I only got, with that, it'll make it an 18, and I want to make sure I hit this dude. Let me see here. Would I roll a d6 for that? Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> five. Awesome. I add a plus five to that. Uh, so 21. 21 to hit. Okay. Oof. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... I'm going to say whatever that was going to be was a fail. Yeah. Tegan, you are leaning down and rushing this Minotaur as fast as you can and zooming up to it, and Zoasin, you have your weapon drawn, holding in two hands. And Tegan, you cut the motorcycle and slash this minotaur across the chest with the one of the horns sticking out of the motorcycle and then as you turn zoas and you come down with your with the force of divine hunger and cut this minotaur across the chest and he goes as you cut him he was trying to jump onto the motorcycle to grab oh, you shit. and you stop like, him in his fall. tracks yeah and you stop him in his tracks with your cut and he falls backwards and then tagan zooms away or I'm Tegan gonna, oh begins God, hey. to zoom away. I'm going to dive bomb him. I do. Because I saw them attack. Eight plus three, I think. Eleven damage. Is that what it is? Yeah. Or, so you well, get on, you get a one d ten for for two handed. You get a one d ten plus three, eight. and then a one d eight on top of that. Okay. So eight plus three is eleven plus a d eight. One second for the d eight. Fuck me. Where are my D8s? D8s are so hard. Okay, I got one. <laughs> Plus three. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> All right, um, he is wearing the armor of a minotaur. What does the armor of a minotaur look like, Zoasin? Uh, it's like dark, uh, like ox blood color. And uh, it's studded leather armor with chain underneath on the arms and uh he has a chain hood on that has holes cut out for the horns and uh they wear big old metal black metal gauntlets with spikes and on them when you cut yeah they're they look pretty fucking metal and when you cut through them you see the chain mail underneath has split apart from just the complete sharpness of divine hunger and he stumbles back, and as you got closer, because I'm looking at that picture and it looks cool to have an axe, he has an axe in one hand. And he knocks back to the ground and he lands on his butt. Yeah, I'm dive bombing that motherfucker. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point at this point I've already put from the slime thing, I already put my gauntlets back on or my my cum pours back on. Yeah. So, yeah. He's... All right, yeah, you can roll to hit him, and then we'll go for initiative, because he's caught totally off guard by you. Yeah, I'm guessing not advantage. Yes, because he's no, on his back. No, can have advantage. He's on his minotaur butt. He's on his minotaur <laughs> butt. There's a 24 hit. 24 hit, yeah. Because he's on his okay. butt. Okay. At seven. Oh, wait. You kill him instantly. That's a thirteen. That's thirteen for that attack. 
Okay. Uses key point. Yeah. A 26. I guess no, that has to hit. Yeah. If a 26 didn't hit, I'd be scared. That's another 14. Seventeen hit. Seventeen hits. Just <laughs> <laughs> crush. That's another fifteen. You can still go. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Twenty. Well, that's got to hit. <clears throat> another eight. Uh yeah. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Allergies have been kicking my ass the past few days. None of those were criticals, right? No. Nope. Okay. Uh his speed Are is you... lowered by ten feet. Okay. Alright, so as you leap onto him, Tyrrell, and you are just clawing and lightning is flowing from behind your arms and it looks super badass, you're clawing at him, you realize after your third hit that you're not actually connecting with anything and you're going through an illusion. Awesome. It's a fake! <laughs> and then with the amount of damage you would have done to an actual living creature, the illusion fades away into nothing. Wait? Bucky makes Tim Allen noise dot MP3. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tegan, I assume you kind of round your motorcycle back and you're idling and watching what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what you see. Um, and then the mounds start to rumble and move. Carol and perception. Mm -hmm. Natural twenty, bitch. <gasps> I really need a graphic for that. These are earth elementals. Oh fuck it. <laughs> what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I have mold earth. That's cool. <laughs> You change the earth elemental into a pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you guys want to end here? Or do you guys want to fight the earth elementals? I'm fine on time, so it's up to you guys. That's their call. I'm good on time. I don't work tomorrow, I mean, so I don't care. I need to I need to make dinner so probably after this fight. Yeah, that's yeah, where I was gonna end it was sure. after this fight. That's cool. I mean this fight'll probably take another like twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Or the earth elementals will just kill you all. That's Could a possibility. Be. It's very possible. Alright, everybody roll for initiative. Initiative? Initiative. Ooh, I got a natural 20. Come on, game. You couldn't give me, give me a natural 20 at a different time? Come on, RN Jesus. What the hell? I got a 17. Ooh, I got a 12. No, that, I, I got a 13. Brandon got a 12. So, as of right now, I'm going first. Okay, well, you who rolled had, a natural 20. Who had so. the 17? So, so. Me. Okay. Ram, I think you're still rolling for Zosin. Well, that's a, oh, that's... Oh, I rolled. Uh, yeah, you need me to roll oh, again? Yeah, that was... No, in that's game, fine. In, in, the, in chat, he was... Uh, yeah, oh, I, I gotta, forgot to switch characters. 
Will I roll again, right? No, I'll keep your 17. That's fine. Oh, okay. All right. And what'd you get, Tegan? 17? 17. Okay, so you and Zoe <clears throat> can either roll off or decide who goes first. Uh, Let me go first. Well, I'm still driving, so at the moment. Oh, yeah. So wouldn't it make more sense for me to mm -hmm. go ahead and run up Gore with the motorcycle and then either drop you close or depending on whether or not you're going to use melee or not? Yeah, I uh, I was only going to do that because I was going to get off a buff spell on probably Bucky since he's closest. Okay. So the question is, is do you want to get off the bike now back here so you can yes. buff up Bucky? Okay, so you go first yes. then. Okay. Okay, so Bucky, you got the natural 20, so you go first. Yay. Um, these things are... Like I said, look like burial mounds, and they're rising up, and they have big fucking arms, and they're made of rocks, and they're crumbling. But they're also covered in a layer of ooze. And the ooze seems to be moving over them. Be wary of that I'm ooze. Gonna, You'll probably I'm gonna take turn damage. To the I'm going to turn to... I'm going to... Real quick, before you go, Bucky, I'm going to turn to the squad and go, All right, guys, we need to coordinate our attacks here. If you can hold off for a minute, I can give you protection from elements. Part of my protection from good and, or was it protection from good and evil that I have. It'll give you uh, them disadvantage on you and all kinds of other benefits. If you hold your actions until I can get this spell off. And then you could go right after I go. Unless you just want to charge in and then I'll buff whoever. I'm already there. standing there. I'm going to look at him and say, could, can you still do that if I attack? You can ready I would have action. To touch you. I have to touch you. Okay. Um, how far away, It depending on how close Tegan gets me, how far away am I from the mountains? Uh, you guys are still within where you can still see, so how far out did you go, Tegan, from the mounds? Oh, probably... I'll say it's up to you. Probably about 30 feet or so. 30, 35, okay, give or away? take. Yeah, so you're Well, I was on a motorcycle, away. so yeah. I have okay. to kind of keep that in mind, that I would basically be going like 60 feet around. Yeah. Or something dumb. Maybe even more. It's yeah. Probably I'll... Bad. I'm going to reach on my back. This is all I'm going to do this action. Um, I'm going to reach on my back, pull out that uh, one shield we got last session. Nice. I think it was last session. And I'm going, yeah. I'm going to hold it out and say apples and let go. And then I like have it just start orbiting around me. Okay. And us at this point. I assume once we disembark the motorcycle, uh, it'll just be orbiting around me. Yeah. All right, and then uh, it for is now. Zoacin, it is your go. All right, I'm gonna reach in one of my spell pouches and uh, grab a handful of powdered iron and uh, toss it like in a wide arc. And as I do that, I'm going to like touch my finger through it and touch Bucky's forehead and I'm going to uh, recite the spell for protection from good and evil. It lasts up to 10 minutes. One creature I touch until the spell ends. One willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures. Aberration, Celestials, Elementals, Spay, Fiends, or Undead. So I'm going to pick Elementals. This protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target target also cannot be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such creature, the target has advantage on any new save. Yeah, so all their attacks get disadvantaged. That's a pretty sweet spell. And I'm also going to end my spell casting of Asa Mala Kadu Shirak. So my, uh, I'll get my uh, displacement cloak as well. And then I'm done. Okay. I'm also going to exit the bike with my movement. All right. That's my turn. Tegan. Morlay. 
All right. So uh, Bucky is on the bike with me? No, Bucky disembarked. Okay. On his turn. Did I? What, did he? I, I thought we he... hadn't disembarked yet. Okay. Yeah, I think he I wanted to be carried up. To buff... yeah, yeah, I, I was waiting for Zosin to buff me. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. So Zosin, you got off the bike? The... Yeah. Attack. But Buck and Wall did not. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought we were all still on the bike. I'm getting oh off my here. God. You're good. Your guys are on the bike. I'm off. You're good. <laughs> it's all good. You've already buffed us? Yes, I buffed. Yes. Okay. That spell that he just spent five minutes explaining? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna rush the I'm gonna rush one of the elementals. Straight up <laughs> go for gore. Okay, so we're gonna say your uh handle vehicle or whatever is uh-huh. going to be your attack roll. Okay. <clears throat> Tool and Let me just copy and paste that. That way, I have it in my uh, in my um, thing. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, I got a thirteen. You ride at this elemental that's rising up, and just run into it. You don't like cut it at an angle to cut out chunks of it. You just like kunk straight into it and you're reared up forward can, in your seat. Can I do something that's a little less uh, <laughs> suicide <laughs> dumb? Not like redo my action, just like I like I, I like the idea of it's it senses me coming and then it just kind of like because it's floating, right? It's a floating motorcycle. Yeah. It's more like it's a like land, land speeder. speeder from Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it senses me coming and just happens to get one good swipe in and just knocks me off course a little bit. Okay. Keeps, and then you kunk me into a rock. Me. Okay. If, if I have to kunk into something. <laughs> the what you now? Into Tyrell. Kunk, not cuck. You cuck Tyrell. God damn Bunk. it. Always. <laughs> not again. <laughs> not again. He's awful cute. Again? He's awful cute for a bird man. <laughs> All right, Elemental One swings at. Well, it's still away. Uh, it is coming towards the motorcycle, so it is twenty feet. It goes and it comes down to attack you, Tegan. And Bucky's mic just amped up. I don't know why. Oh, and then it fixed itself. It's okay. probably because of how low I have my... Uh... Jesus Christ! Alright, so it does hit you. It misses. Whoa. It hits you with a 28, a natural okay. 20. Yep. And a uh, 25. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yep. I haven't hit enter yet. So the first strike um, that hits me, then I, ha- or the first strike hits me and then don't forget that my armor does go up by five, I think it is. Something stupid. Well, the second one's a natural 20. Yeah, I know, but still, just saying. This is just putting it out into ether so we can remember. Yeah, because that's something I forget. These creatures get multi-attack as they go further. That's something that I forget, too. (laughs) All right, you take 45 damage. Oh, my God. Uh. You're not dead. I'm dead. (laughs) You're such a drama queen. (laughs) (laughs) I'm dead. I didn't say it like that. I, I said quit. I'm dead. I quit. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm You're dead. dead. You're a wizard. All right. Uh, wizard, so Harry. it can either choose. It, you can choose to be knocked off or you can do a strength an opposed strength to see if you stay on the bike. 
Oh, fuck, I don't want to be anywhere near these motherfuckers. It can hit me as far away as it wants to. Off of the bike? Yeah. Fuck that bike. I don't give a shit yeah. about the bike. <laughs> I don't care fuck about that bike. bike. Okay, nah. <laughs> alright. Nah! It uppercuts you with its second hit and just <clears throat> knocks you off of the bike. Punch you. And it knocks you up. Yeah, you're so not ha- how too. much? How much? <laughs> how much damage was the second hit? <laughs> That it hit you with? No, total yeah. 45, I think. Yeah, yeah total, total was 45, 45. so. So. I was the second, the second hit, the the second hit was 7188. Because he got critical on the second hit. So the second hit was 24 plus 10 damage. Or 24 plus 5 damage. So 29 for the okay. second hit. So can I say that I fly back half of that distance, 15 feet? Sure. All right. And you've got the wind knocked out of you. Yep. And your stomach is broken. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Your everything everything is broken. Yeah. It's your go, (gasps) Tiro. You are on the ground and you're standing next to an elemental as well. Well, I guess the only thing I can do is fucking attack it. <laughs> you can run away. No, no, I can't. Run away! <laughs> run away! How many attacks of opportunity is that if I try to run away? Well, I could disengage, but still. Jesus Christ! Jason Bourne. Um, yeah, so it's going to get, uh... It's going to get taloned. And not advantage, obviously. Yeah. Twelve. Probably does not hit. Twelve does not hit. Twelve doesn't begin to pierce its rocky exterior. Fifteen. A fifteen also does not pierce its rocky exterior. I am not spending a key point on two misses. Fair enough. All right, and then the thing goes to attack you, Tyrrell, as you are right on top of it. And what's your AC now? 18. Okay. I'm going to yell, does anybody speak elemental? <laughs> one hit. Yeah, one hit, one did not. So it missed, huh? What do you mean? There's an important thing that happens when stuff misses. Yeah, it hits you once and it misses. It hits you with the first hit and then misses with the second. And you take 10 damage from the first hit. And then if you have something that the second hit does. Yeah, whoa, that's a button that I didn't want to hit. Game HP minus 10. Uh, I got to find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I spend a key point. How close is the other elemental to me? Since 30 feet right? away. Is it really? Yeah, it went and moved 30 feet towards the motorcycle to attack Tagan. Never mind. Nothing special happens. Okay. All right, we are to you, Buckenwald. Buckenwald. But 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 Buckenwald. Ever be ever be ever be ever. We ever 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 ever. Okay. So where am I now? You d- you didn't mission. get off the motorcycle, right? Uh, not at the... I don't think so. I have no idea what happened there. Okay, so you are on the motorcycle. Tagan has been punched off the motorcycle 15 feet away, and you are facing an Earth Elemental. How far away from it am I? You're, like, right up on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, it charged the motorcycle. Is the motorcycle still moving? It's still idling. Okay. I am going to use my spring boots to jump off of the motorcycle and then 
come down with my hammer on the earth elemental. Okay. I do a big boing. A big boing. Boing. <laughs> Uh, 26 to hit. Okay. 14 damage. And I have a second attack. Does the Earth Elemental have legs? Yeah. Okay. Once I land from hitting it, I'm going to bring my hammer around and try to s sweep the leg. Okay. Sweep the leg. 23 to hit. 23 hits. 11 damage. Okay, yeah, you hammer on this thing. Um, you hammer at its... <laughs> you hammer at its knee, and it just... It scrapes through, but it doesn't phase this thing at all. I mean, it's like 10 feet tall, or I think I said it was 15 feet tall. It's big regardless. So it has like tree trunk style legs. Bigger than my... It is a large size. Yes. Bigger than my four foot eight ass. Okay. Yeah. Very bigger. Like four times as big. <laughs> um, like, do you still get still pluses for getting... Does he no, still get pluses No, they took that out being... too. Did they? Okay. Well, that's Unless stupid. you have the, uh, there are stuff that has advantage yeah. for that. Uh, dwarves might actually have it. Um, do I have another action or no? You have a movement if you want to take a movement. Could I use the mo movement to, uh, use my tan bag? Yeah, I think so. It's not considered an attack. Actually, that would have been something I would have homebrewed. What? What? A black bear. Woo! Is nice. just there now. That's awesome. They have keen smell. Oh. <laughs> and bear strength. They get two attacks. Like Tig, like uh, Tyrell, they will also attack with bare hands. You summon the black bear, and it immediately turns to you and starts mauling you. No! <laughs> <laughs> my face. Get my fucked. precious face. <laughs> my beautiful dwarven beard face. All right, it's your go, Tegan. Well, no, Zoasin went and then Tegan. My bad. Okay, so how far away am I from Tegan right now? Um, okay, so you are standing in the... Say you're standing at the top of a triangle. Mm -hmm. At the bottom left of the triangle is the Earth Elemental and Tyrell. The bottom left of the other triangle is Tegan... Or Zoas... Uh, fuck me. Is yeah, Buckenwald. And then Tegan is another 15 feet. So I'm you are running. 45 feet from Tegan. Okay, if I run... Can I run to him and help pick him up and move him a little bit? Or what can I you do? Can, as far you as can run here? and pick him up, I'll say. You can't move him because you're taking your full movement to run, technically. Okay, I'll do that. I'll run over to him and pick him up. Okay. So you pick him up off his feet. Tegan, onto, Zoasin onto, has... Onto his feet. Yeah, you, pick, you swoop him off of his feet. Oh, he was on the ground. My oh, hero. Oh, <laughs> get, get it's up. Okay, take it. You got my get gay up. blood all boiling there for a hot second. Mm. <laughs> all right. What is it? So you help you You're you use standing. your turn to help me up, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. I am going to use my bonus action to hunter's mark. You wouldn't dare. I would and am. He dares. He do dare. He do do's. And then I am going to full attack uh, the one that hit me with sharpshooter and hunter's mark.
Nine on the first one, 15 on the second one. Neither of those hit. They hit, they just don't pierce through its rocky body. Buttholes. I am going to go ben ahead with- That five hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> he said I... rocky body, so I had to do the thing. I, uh, I'm going to beat feet back 35 feet. Okay. Just to put some distance between me and it. Like the bravest of leaders, you run away. I'm a <laughs> fucking archer. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tactical retreat. I've taken 45 fucking damage. <laughs> Eat my cock. All right. <laughs> it is element one's turn, which is the one that Buckingwald hit. When does so when does Bear you, get to attack? Huh? When does Bear get to attack? Bear doesn't get anything. Fuck Bear. I'm I'm gonna attack for the Bear. <laughs> okay. You can attack after Element One. Okay. It gets disadvantage because it's attacking you. Who does? The Elemental gets disadvantage for attacking Buck and Walt. Because oh. of the protection from elementals that Zosin cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 13 does not hit. Ugh. And an 11 does not hit. Damn it. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, Black Bear goes. Black Bear attacks. Black Bear doesn't have shit. What's a Black Bear gonna do to an elemental made of rock covered in ooze? Shit on it? Yeah, but what's that gonna do to the elemental? It has acid shit. Uh, 15 that is not and in the 9 rules. damage. 15 misses. Okay. Does it get uh, one attack or two attacks? It has two attacks, one with a bite. Oh, okay, so I get a de I get a bite. Yes, bear, bite that elemental. Get a mouthful <laughs> of sand. I will. I'm just shit talking because I'm hoping you roll a natural twenty. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> that bear doesn't have the balls to deal any damage. Nope, Fuck he doesn't. Fuck you, bear. Fourteen. All right, it's your All go, right. T-Girl. <laughs> I am going to step of the wind. Okay. okay. Is that like disengage pretty much? That is a f really st stupid disengage. That allows me to dash and my jump distance is doubled for the turn. Everything, everything is ridiculous. It's basically a full disengage and then re-engage. Okay. So I'm going so... to dart over to the other one. Okay. Which uh, is now has an advantage on it, right? Yeah. And he's going to get Talon'd. Oh, shit. Yes. Uh, who's after Carol? <laughs> Element 2. 21, that must hit, right? 21 hits. Uh, For 6 slashing, 3 lightning? Yeah, they're not weak to lightning for some reason. Or they're not strong to lightning for some reason, so. I don't think. I'll let you check. No, nah, they're not. 27. Okay. For 11. Okay. Oh, wait, that I'm giving this to the wrong thing. Uh, that would be 20 total so far. Okay. Or no. Yeah, it's 20 total. Yeah, yeah, 20 total. A 9 and an 11. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you forgot. Yeah. 14 does not Ooh. hit. Okay. Twenty-three does. 
You avoided a nat one on that one, though. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> That's another nine. All right, so Ele Elemental 2 goes to move towards you guys, Tyrrell and Zelsen. It's also uh, minus 10 feet per yeah. round. Oh. So it doesn't make it there. Okay. Well, it is still 20 feet away from you. What, the second elemental? Yeah. How far away was the, the first elemental? Like 45 feet. Oh, okay. So yeah, Elemental 2 does not make it there, especially with his uh, minus 10 feet. He can only move 20 He doesn't feet. have minus 10. He does not have minus 10. Oh, he doesn't? I didn't hit him. Oh, that's right. Okay, so he moves 30 feet, so he's still 15 feet away from you guys. And we are back to you, Buckenwald. Hi, Cyrus. Yeah. Hello, Ethan's yeah. child. Um... Am I still right up on one? Yeah. You and uh, Tyrrell are on it. Okay. Huh. I'm going to... I guess just wail on it again. Yeah, and you have advantage. Okay. You know I do? Yes, because I'm there. I'll be there for you. Pretty I hate much. this song. I'll be there for you. It's okay, because I hate it, too. 31! That's 20! That's a 20! Ah. Damn. Uh, 15 damage. If a 31 doesn't fucking hit... <laughs> you got fucked on the damage, that's for sure. <laughs> I know. mean... Womp, womp. I still have another attack. <laughs> yeah, but still. The natural 20 was a little bit on the and then, weak side. Um... Do I get advantage on this attack as well or no? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Every attack, as long as there is flanking. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Whenever, oh, wherever, man. we'll always be together. 24 to hit, 10 damage. 10 more damage. Miss. Avoided a natural one on that one. You I are... You are Double just extremes. hacking chunks out of this thing's legs because that's about as far as up on this thing as you can reach. So it kind of drops to one knee as you're hitting its one leg. And uh, it's down on one knee with both of its arms. It looks like it still has a ways to go, but uh, you've definitely put some hurt on, on it. Okay. And Zoacin, it's your turn. Wait, what about my bear? Your bear, Remington rolled for your yeah, bear. Yeah, I already went. I go after elemental okay. one for the bear. Okay. That's Unless fine. you want to take it uh, for uh, elemental one. No, that's fine. I, I don't care one way. So, All right. I I'm, just didn't. I didn't know you. How big are this one. thing's feet? Oh, how big is it, <laughs> the earth elemental's foot? Like, if I had to look at the foot. Are you trying to use the earth thing again to stop it? Well, what I was going to do was maybe trip it or make it fall to one knee or fall over depending on if I could excavate five foot of its foot and see if that's enough to like make it uh, I mean something like, that's large size like if your average is about 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 then something right that's back. large size is like 15-ish 15 15-ish 15 uh, well, while, while he's going, actually, we'll go ahead and look up the actual, like, heights of stuff. Did I get? Am I paused? Can anybody hear no, me? No, you're you're uh, you're there now. I'm, okay, you're there now. 
Okay. Sorry, it kind of like stopped for a minute. Yeah. I was either thinking that or I could witch bolt the thing for like 2d12. So if it's if it's 16 feet and our feet being at like 5'10 or a, give or take about a foot long, 12 inches, yeah. between 10 and 12 inches. So if it's three times that. Like my dick. So it'd be like three feet, three to three to five so feet. I could like You'd probably be able to. Yeah, because it takes I up mean, a 10-foot square. I don't know if that would work on an elemental. I know it's earth, made of earth, but I don't know I mean, if the DM will let that happen. If not, I'll just witch bolt it. If you're dropping, if you're dropping the earth out from underneath of it, it doesn't really matter what it's made out of. I would well, witch bolt. No, no, it I'm, I'm trying I wouldn't to let... like cut the foot off. Yeah, I know you're trying to like trip it or defoot yeah. it, but. Uh, Moving the earth on an earth elemental is probably not going to oh, do anything. Oh, I thought you were going to move the earth <laughs> okay. underneath gonna... of the earth elemental. Well, and make it trip on its too. I don't know. Uh, maybe a witch bolt is a better idea. Just the pure two d twelve. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move back uh, my movement. And I'm going to Witch Bolt, because it has a really hellish range on it anyway. Yeah, for sure. Warrington, can you roll okay. a d20 for me, please? Sure. It's plus seven to my attack. Yeah, hold on. Get to the right place here. Got a plus nine against ogres. He's not there. He's getting drunk. He's cooking ramen. Uh, 20 to hit. Oh, 20. Nice. Yeah, 20 to hit. I'll let you roll your damage unless Brandon wants to make you take the damage on there. No, he can roll the damage. And it's 2d12, not 1d12. Okay. Isn't it? Yes, uh, it, it is. depends. It depends on what what level you're casting. Second level. If, yeah, I only cast Second it at first. Level. So... Stop it, bud. No. All right. Hold. What? <laughs> huh? Okay. Um, <laughs> seven and five. Yeah. Much better damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And after that, after I move my movement back to put distance, I'm done. Okay. Dagan. Don't fuck this up. This one's almost dead. All right. I'm going to hit him. Uh, still, the hunter's mark is going on it, but I am not going to go for the sharpshooter. So I'm going to go twice. Sharpshooter is the one that does damage at the cost of hit, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. It does an extra 10 on a hit, but... Mm -hmm. Damn, you could have mm -hmm. used that extra minus 5. That wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except it wouldn't have rolled that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 24 damage 24, total. 24 damage is still respectable. Yep. All right, yeah, you've chipped big pieces off of this thing it's still alive but it's down to like where the stone looks like bone on its arms and hands as you've chipped away most of it and it's kind of a glowing big skeleton at this point okay and uh, it goes I am, to a, I am oh. going to real quick uh, oh. use oh. a bonus action for my bow heal and heal up nine Nice. Okay. Does now the elemental turn. get um, disadvantage on you for any reason, Tyrrell? Nope. Okay. Does a 16 hit? Nope. 18? Yes. Yes. 
The first one misses and was is within the five feet. There's nothing. There's nothing that'll help hurt. Oh. Uh, okay. The other, yeah, it won't work until the other elemental gets there. Gotcha. Oh, it's too uh, close by opponent. Yep. Gotcha. Or I could make I could make the miss hit Bucky instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can make the miss hit Bucky instead. I mean, he has more HP. <laughs> yeah, he does, but it's it's still a miss. Yeah. So you would, would just be doing it. it to be a dick. Yeah. yeah anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it is your go, Tyrrell. This thing is doesn't need to move because it's right up on you. It senses the protection from evil and elementals on Buckenwald and swivels in its torso to attack you. 23 hit. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm just going to copy this. There. Uh, that's 10 damage. Okay. 21. Uh, you kill uh, it with your second attack. Yeah. That's another 10 damage. All right. You have that. Destroys it. It has 126 hit points. Woo! I, did, I, did a, I did a Shoryuken for the last, <laughs> the last attack. Shoryuken! All right, and we'll start next session with the uh, attack on the other elemental. The other elemental moves up on you, Tyrrell. Of course it does. Because you're yeah, directly on line. <laughs> so it is bum, move. Bum. I'm, moving, uh, I'm moving away from the other elemental as, as my move right. action. <laughs> you can. It's hunting you down. Yeah. You down. yeah, you have a move action. You can move out of range of it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to move out of range of it. Okay, so it's moving towards Buckingwall then. Cause I need I need a little bit of respite. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm we'll hurting. hit you with some heals. Come toward me. We'll hit you with some heals. I can move towards you in one hit in one round. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Yep, I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I will say we coordinated uh, pretty decently on that. Yep, not too bad. Yeah, it was smart to focus on one to take one down first instead of trying to split the damage between two. There was definitely nothing I could do against the other one. Big. Yeah, Mm. I had a feeling it was going to be a heavy hitter, and the only reason I had I attacked the other one is because I didn't want to spend disengage right away. Until oh, I yeah. figured out the Hopefully. positioning of everything. Because um, that would have left me even worse. I was originally going to have these things be half slime and half earth elemental. So oh, once they got down to weird. half health, I was going to have them split. But then once well, I once you. you guys started fighting the earth elementals, I was like, holy shit, these things are tough for being a CR5. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they're just so beefy. When yeah. They're... Well, only one is a CR five. If you have two, it's it's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it would CR be. It'd probably be like, like a CR seven or eight or something. Yeah. yeah. So still within range of you guys. If Neri had been there too, you guys would have taken this down a lot quicker, I'm sure, oh, with yeah. her fireball. Well, with any well, with anything she did, probably because half of the, this, maybe? just the extra, just that extra little bit of damage would have helped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. No, not always. Yeah, yes, always. That's how damage works. <laughs> no, not always. <laughs> it's literally what damage is. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> by, by definition, more damage equals faster fight. <laughs> Did we have anybody in the chat tonight, Rem? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, we had a couple people. Uh, I was seeing upwards of eight to ten. Damn. Yep. Uh, so heavy. Oh, stopped... One is me. One is Bucky. <laughs> yeah. Heavy stopped by for a hot couple of seconds. Uh, Sinivex, uh Slap nuts. Good old Slappy. As well as Slap nuts. I love that name. Yep. As well as Thanks, herbs and spices. <laughs> danking around. Commander Root. Commander Root's always in your chat. <laughs> Casino thanks. Command root. Heavy. Ava Semaphore. Heavy. Heavy. 
I said heavy already. What up? That's so heavy. All right. Well, I heavy. guess I'll mute you fuckers so I can say goodbye to everybody and do the outro. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Thank you for stuff. Goodbye, do stuff, everyone. Thanks. Do your stuff. Goodbye, Twitch. All right. So thank you, everybody, for watching. If you want to experience a fantastic uh, podcast, you can always go over to DuelingOvers.com and listen to some of our past episodes. Uh, we do have one that's been waiting for several weeks to for me to publish. I just not have not had the time or the energy. I'm kind of a bad editor, so... <laughs> But you can go listen to any of the other ones. Uh, also, uh, any of the stuff that we have up on our YouTube channel, you can hit up our link tree. I don't have a I don't have a link in here for that, but it's linktree dot whatever it is forward slash dueling uggers. You know how linktree works. It's got all of our shit on there. Um, we also have a Patreon. If you feel like you want to give us some money, don't ever give us money on fucking Twitch because Twitch is owned by Amazon. And Amazon can eat the darkest part of my ass. So, <laughs> you all have a good night and uh, keep your clubs blunt and your tusks sharp. And here's the outro. Mm -hmm.